Hi, this is Shushan from Measure Square. In this Android video, we're going to be discussing how to switch the layout direction, how to switch the layout direction inside a specific room, how to set the pattern position, how to move around seams and add T seams, and how to do cut sheet manipulations. So let's start with switching the layout direction. As you can see on the diagram, my carpet right now is in a horizontal direction of a layout. If I go up to the top where it says estimate and I click on that, I can do set vertical layout and I can pick the material I want to change to vertical and click done. And you'll see now that everything is changed to vertical. If I only want to switch it for a specific room, I can click on the room and click I and then I can go to layout direction and I can drag it out with my finger in the direction I want and it'll change it for that room only. Let's move on to pattern position. If I want to set the pattern position of a specific pattern, so let's pick this one. I will simply click on the room, click on the eye and go to set pattern position. Uh, I'm going to set my pattern to start at that top left hand corner and I'll click the check mark. And you'll see now that the pattern is starting on the top left hand corner. If I want to move around seams, I'll simply move them around on the diagram itself with my finger. It's uh, really self-explanatory on that one. If I want to add T seams, I will go to estimate seams and I have several different options for the type of seam I can add. You have the option of a T-seam, an even T-seam, and a divider seam. I'm going to go with T-seam right now, and I'll move my finger around somewhere here, and I'll drop it into place, and click the check mark for done. Let's look at the cut sheet now. I'm going to close off this product database side, and I'm going to roll up our cut sheet. If I click on a specific room, you'll see the material that is uh, going to show up on the cut sheet. Uh, and you'll see a lot of information down here. You'll see the waste percentage, you'll see covered area, quantity, roll length. The default cut margin is 3 inches, but I'll show you where to change that in a second. Uh, you're free to move out these cuts directly around on the cut sheet itself. So if you somehow see a better optimization, go ahead and try that out yourself. If I click on cut list, I'll also see the piece cuts and the sizes all in a list. Let's go back to our cut sheet. On the left hand side, you'll see three vertical dots. If I click on that, I'll also have options over here. I can click Relayout. That will push, uh, that will start it all over again to how it originally was. It essentially resets it. If I go back, I can click T seam and add the T seams directly on the cut sheet itself. You could do the same thing with even T seams. Um, optimize is where you would change default settings for this, um, this project. So if I click on that, you can see that I can change stuff here like the cup margin. Uh, you have other advanced settings here. You can play around with that and make sure everything is how you like it. Thank you for watching. Subscribe to our YouTube channel to see more videos and happy measuring.